You know, like back in the old horror movies, you know? The first Halloween, it's like, who got hide in the closet? Who got hide in the closet? Remember that? And she comes out with a poker and sticks him in the eye. Good day, everybody in YouTube land. How we doing today? It's Friday, Friday. Gotta get down on Friday. What? That's right, everybody. It's the start of the weekend. Hope everyone has having a fantastic day. Remember to get out and have fun. Take care of yourselves. And stay happy, stay positive, stay in the mindset. I'm gonna hit you with Flashback Friday later on. With all that said, let's go ahead and get this vlog started. Let's do this. Now I thought this would be really fun and interesting to share uh, since we're still on the release week of The Rake. Have you seen in the previous vlogs, a film that I've worked on, had the honor and pleasure of working on back in March of 2015. It just released on DVD this week. You can again, in the link description below, check out where to get your copy of the film. It was a, still a cold winter. We hadn't gotten fully into spring yet. And here in my hand, I have uh, pretty much like sides. I kept call sheets. I got a couple pictures in here and then I also had this really cool, uh, I had a binder and I kept this in front of my binder just so in case I left it somewhere people knew, could recognize it, it had my name on it, my role, and at the end of the, the shoot I had the cast sign it and so I just wanted to share with you guys, it's really cool. So, uh, so first off, these here are size, these are basically mini versions of the script. Here's a couple uh, great photos of the cast and crew. I had the distinct pleasure of working with. There's me way up there by the rake, just chilling, hanging out, just, you know, just minding my own business. And this photo here is another fun day with the cast and crew as well. And there's me way up there, pretty pretty excited and pumped, you know, I'm like, woohoo, yeah, check it out, woohoo. Oh, this is awesome, I love finding little notes. This has uh, been a few weeks after we wrapped. Left this little note here for myself. I miss the sets, the crew, everyone rocked. Get out there and make something happen, Ryan Gregory. It's awesome, man. So that's like three years old. Myself telling myself that three years later. That's I love finding that stuff. This one here is probably one of my most prized possessions taken off of that along with my memories I created and the friendships I created. But as you see here, you got all the different autographs. I'm gonna go ahead and just read some of these to you guys. This is from Rachel Melvin who played Nicole. Ryan, such a pleasure to have worked with you. Thank you for your hard work and positive attitude. Rachel Melvin was such a sweetheart to work with. She was amazing. And you can find her in such movies as Dumb and Dumber 2, Mom and Dad, and obviously, of course, The Rake. Which, Rachel, if you ever see this, by the way, you did fantastic. You really pulled it off. You did amazing. And again, it was such a pleasure to work with you. Next up, we have Joey Pachichi. He played Andrew in the film. You are sexy. I love you, my man. Right back at you. You can find him in such films as Vincent and Roxy, The Layover, and of course, The Rake. Joey, again, it was a pleasure to work with you. You did phenomenal in the film, man. Your performance was amazing. It's a great job, man. This guy here, he is hilarious. So Joe Nunez, he played Jeremy in the film. He was like the comedic relief. He's hysterical and he's a great guy in real life. And uh, he's got right here, Rai Rai, RBG Studios forever. And I can only see, picture him saying that, like, you know what I mean? But he was so cool, good guy. You can find Joe Nunez in such movies as The Layover, Bridesmaids, The Watch, and this man is great, guys. You definitely check out those films. Give all these people support and likes and everything. Give them shout outs. These guys are so cool. It was such a pleasure and honor to work with them. This guy here, Steven Brody, man, you are awesome. You are so cool, man. I really appreciate you and your hard work. Our talks and everything, you are so cool. Ryan, you are the man. Thank you for taking such good care of me. It's been fun and I hope we get to do it again. Steven Brody, again, man, it was so much fun, dude. It was an honor to be able to to just take care of you. Anything you needed, man, you know, I was always there for you. All you guys, I was always there for you. Whatever I could do, I was there. You can also catch Stephen Brody in such films as Puppet Master, The Littlest Wretch, Inhumane, and The Lone Ranger. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that little segment there. We're gonna get back into our regular broadcasting. Oh, I just got done watching the new Halloween trailer. Oh my gosh, everybody. Oof. I don't know what to say. Ah, mm, ah, mm, I don't know. Ah, I don't know. I don't know. Just by the looks of the trailer, it brings a lot of nostalgia back. It looks old school. Seth Gordon Green directing, going a whole new direction with this series. Ignoring Rob Zombies, thank goodness. Unfortunately, ignoring everything after one. So technically, it's a direct sequel to the original Halloween 1978. So technically, it's Halloween 2. Oh, man. I know the original Michael Myers, Nick Castle's gonna come back and be playing 
Michael on this one, so that's cool. But don't ignore Halloween. Halloween's awesome. It's precious to me, and it means lots to a lot of other fans. I personally actually wanted to make a Halloween fan film myself. I have started an outline. I have a script. It's something I do want to shoot one day. I'm not sure if I'm going to shoot it this year. It's going to happen because I'm a fan, and I would love to shoot a Michael Myers film. So it's going to happen one day. And this fan here is actually going to take place... 10 years after the resurrection. So it's all, you know what I mean? It all comes together. Everything happened. Everything that you've seen has happened in my fan film. I'm so amped. I think, honestly, the trailer does look really good. It does look really good. I'm pretty amped. And it looks pumped. I'm, oh man. It looks so good. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. I'm so excited to see Michael Myers back on the big screen because he's my boogeyman. He gonna get you. He gonna get you. No, he ain't. What? Oh man, I've been doing the potty dance this whole vlog. It's a little bit. I got beat. I go go. You didn't even need to know that. Yeah, it's in the vlog anyway. Why? I don't know. That actually does look really good. Doesn't it? Yes. Doesn't wow. It? Right. That actually looks good. Right? Hey, Sarah. Hey, what? You ready to flashback? What are we flashbacking to? I'm going to flashback to my first Facebook vlog. <gasps> yeah, here we go. <laughs> Today is Friday the 13th. I'm in Jefferson City, Missouri. And we're just gonna go take a little journey. We're gonna bring you guys with us. We're all filming. Everybody's got a camera. See, look at that. We're supposed to get an ice storm and not even a creek is frozen. Oh. Not even a creek is frozen. What is this? Hey, right in there. I wish I was rolling then. James just took a tumble. <laughs> he, he, <laughs> right, we heard here at G&D's Pizza now. We got some awesome pizza. Oh yeah. Oh, he's stealing! <laughs> <laughs> what are you gonna do to that teddy bear? <laughs> hey. hey guys, I'm in France! I'm in France! Have a nice day! This guy's got me back into vlogging. I haven't vlogged since 2010. This is cool. Seven years later. And we're back, guys. I hope you enjoyed that little flashback into my very first vlog on Facebook whenever I came back into the vlogging scene. Hope you guys enjoyed this vlog as a whole. I hope you guys enjoy my channel and everything else and all the entertainment and happiness and positivity that we are bringing you guys. Please subscribe and ring that bell for notifications. Don't forget to like and share. And comment below. And we'll see you guys tomorrow. tomorrow. I was just, you know, so scared of the beginning of Skynet, you know, it all takes over. You got all these machines and, and the Wi Fi is controlling all your stuff and can just leak, you know, nudes from celebrities leak all the time. Anything, who knows what will leak about me, you know, if I put it on the cloud, who knows? Might get a lot of butt pictures. I don't know. Maybe nipples. I don't know. Maybe my calves. I don't know. People are into that kind of stuff.